Hey Jed, where are we going? We're going to the Eastern Shore of Virginia. He's excited. I am excited. But first, we get to go across. I don't know if you can see it, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnels. We have made it safely to the shore. We didn't get blown off the bridge or anything. I was kind of scared <laughs> that we were. So we are about an hour north of the um, Chesapeake Bay Bridge tunnels in a little area, um, Parksley, Virginia. That is actually where um, Jed's family is from. So. Yeah, I actually think this area is like one of the best kept secrets in Virginia. It's, as it's absolutely gorgeous. It is. So we've spent a little bit of time um, just driving around. We were looking for a place to camp for the night because um, the sun is actually starting to set now. And so we were driving at some down some of the little roads to like the little coastline that take you out. And, um, it's not the Chesapeake Bay itself, but these little bays that are kind of surrounding um, the coast here. And we actually came across one. This is called Guard Beach, Guard Beach. Yeah, I think it's called Guard, Guard Beach. Guard Beach, and um, and it's called Guard Beach because I don't. Know we don't why know why. Yeah, <laughs> but it's really, really beautiful. So you're on this road, and on one side there's some water, and on the other side there's some marshland. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. So we think it'd be a good place to stay for the night. There's nothing posted saying we can't stay overnight. We've seen a few cars in and out, but nothing crazy at all. Speaking of crazy, so. Tonight, there is actually a NASA facility on the eastern shore of Virginia called Wallops Island. And tonight, there's supposed to be, fingers crossed, weather permitting, winds permitting, clouds permitting, a rocket launch tonight. Yeah, so what time is it? It I think is. It's about 7.30. So, supposedly, the, I, I think it's about 7.30 right now. The sun is setting, and the anticipated launch time is like 8.04 p.m. So, we're sometimes between 8 or 4 the latest they'll launch is like 9 p.m. so we're actually going to be watching for that don't know if we'll be able to catch it um, but in the meantime we might take a little walk down the beach here and then get ready to see that and hopefully you can see that with us I need to hurry up and catch with Sandy she's storming down the beach without me A billion mosquitoes have descended upon us and uh, we're actually inside the van listening to the uh, Wallops Island NASA live feed to see if they are going to actually launch tonight. They are at a T-15 hold right now uh, due to, I guess, low level and high level winds. I guess it was medium level winds though, they're, they're totally fine, but they said low level and high level, so I don't know. If, I mean, I'm not... An, rocket engineer so I mean I don't know. Could be. I, no I'm not smart enough. Well unfortunately there is no rocket launch tonight. They scrubbed it due to the winds but we're gonna still be here tomorrow night so we have one more chance to see it so hopefully it will happen. It's been pushed back 24 hours so. So the next place we take you is also a good spot to see it so fingers crossed well, not the next. We're going to do a couple things in between. Yeah, we'll do a couple tomorrow, things. The next place we take you tomorrow night. <laughs> what she said. But we're just going to uh, celebrate with some uh, hot dogs. Some hot dogs. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. Well, so I know you're probably expecting from last night's footage for us to be waking up this beautiful sunrise at this beautiful beach. But guess what? This is where we are. We are at a Walmart parking lot. So around, eh, probably about quarter after 11 last night, there was a bunch of people that showed up. There was loud music and all kinds of shenanigans. So I didn't feel like it was quite appropriate to spend the night there. So we ended up going to Walmart parking lot. So after waking up at Walmart this morning, we really wanted to come back out to the water and, and enjoy our breakfast and our coffee here. So we chose Johnson's Landing? Yeah, it's Johnson's Landing. So we're at Johnson's Landing this morning. So um, we've been sitting out here. We've uh, seen some baby geese and some fishermen. 
Yeah, so these little landings are dotted all over the eastern shore. And uh, if you just get off of Route 13 and go left or right. Just head towards the water. Just head towards the water. And more than likely, you'll run into a little place like this. There's uh, just like the beach that we were going to stay the night at yesterday. It, there's tons of beautiful little places on the shore just like this. You can sit here, you can crab off the pier, you can fish off the pier. So, and I know a, a, when people are traveling, a lot of times people really want to see like the sites or do the big things, and we're going to go do some of the more popular things here this afternoon. But we really enjoy just sitting and staring at nature, watching the birds. Yeah, there's the eastern shore is known for its diverse bird population so if you love bird watching then this is a great place to come and if you like solitude it's a great place but now we are headed to see Jed's grandma that's right we're really excited to see her we're not going to show you that but well maybe maybe we'll maybe. get a picture and throw it up so you can see her but I think she's like 92 or 94 and she lives over here on the shore um, so we're going to go see her and yeah and then we'll go explore some more so come to find out, Grandma is actually going to be 95 years old. No, she's going to be 96. She 96. Is not, she'll be yeah, 90. this October. Right. So she is doing well. She's super cute. Um, can't see a thing hardly. <laughs> can't hear us very well. But um, and we only got to spend 30 minutes with her because of COVID restrictions. But we are so glad we got to see her. We're kind of hungry, and uh, we've made our way down to Cape Charles. And right as you enter the town, they have Cape Charles Brewing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go in here, try some beer, and get something to eat, and then we're going to go check out Cape Charles itself. So our food has come already, and it looks absolutely delicious. We both got the rockfish sandwich. Um, the fish just looks so crispy, and it's a huge piece of fish. Um, the fries, I've already snuck one. Super tasty. And then we also got us some crab bites, because we couldn't... They're crab cake bites. Yeah. We couldn't not have them, so we got those. And then I found my little card for the beer, and so what we're gonna be trying here in a minute, this is um, one called O Reliable, it's a Helly's. This one is a blood orange beer. This one is a Hefeweizen, and then this is a Belgian. So this is the crab cake bites. If they're crab cakes or anything like this, these are, ah, they're super incredible. I so, think they're the same, just bigger. So if you know anything about crab cakes, it's not a lot of filler. It's it's pretty much all crab meat it is should be so delicious so the rockfish is on a brioche bun and the, the rockfish itself is really crispy nice white flaky meat it's absolutely delicious and the brewery is right next to the busy road that goes into Cape Charles so it's kind of nice but uh, it also has a spicy aioli on the bottom which is it's and this is really good Wow so can't I'm, talk too full. Yeah, so we were super stuffed. The uh, the rockfish sandwiches were ginormous. You saw them. You were there. Get that. <laughs> yeah, so get that. Uh, the the beer was phenomenal. I definitely, definitely recommend that if you are around this area to stop in. Services. I really enjoyed the blood orange because I like seasonal beers like that, and it's like fruity and fresh and yummy. <laughs> fruity, fresh, and yummy. You heard it here first. <laughs> yes. Now that we're full from lunch, what we really need to do is walk it off a little bit. So we're here at the beach and it is absolutely beautiful. And the sand is so, so soft. If you are looking for a party place, Cape Charles is probably not your town. No, it's so it's kind of a really quaint, sleepy beach town. Um, Very there's, relaxing. So if you're looking to relax. Yeah, this is absolutely the place for you. The water's shallow. It's calm for the most part. I mean, they do get their storms and stuff here, but. The beach is beautiful. The downtown area is small, but lots of cute little shops to kind of explore through. And lots of old Victorian homes that, mm -hmm. you know, for about a million dollars or so, you can own one too. We didn't visit, there's a little um, museum here in town too. And the railroad is kind of a big thing. You see lots of railroad cars and stuff like that. And a lot of these little towns here along the coast. Okay, so our time in Cape Charles has come to an end. It's time to hop back in the van. We have a possible rocket launch tonight. So we're gonna take you to um, another little place to show you and hopefully we'll catch that launch tonight. 
We've had such a long day so far. Especially um, this one. I'm going to be here for the rest of the day just loving on this sweet little girl. So we've arrived at our final destination for today, which is going to be Kipta Peak State Park. Yeah, so we're going to camp here tonight. It's actually a really nice little campground. We've got a nice little spot where we're tucked in here among the trees, so that's nice. But the really cool thing about this park is the fishing pier. So the fishing pier after a certain point of the year, I think it's like May 1st, it's open. You do have to pay a fee to go on the fishing pier um, to actually fish from the pier, but it's like five or six bucks, I think. But that's not really why we're here. No, we're here to see a rocket launch. So supposedly this that's is- That's not even really why we're here. Then what are we doing here? Why are we here? We're here for the concrete fleet. That's right, the concrete <laughs> fleet. Burr, it's a little windy out here. Yeah, it's a little brisk today. So hopefully the audio holds up. But anyway, so right behind us is the concrete fleet that we had mentioned earlier. The concrete fleet is actually nine concrete ships that were that were scuttled or sunk here in the 1940s to form a natural breakwater as this used to be a terminal ferry. So what's really cool, and unfortunately we cannot do it because it is still too early in the season, it's be beginning of May here, um, you can actually rent kayaks and you can go out to um, the ships and you can kind of explore around them. They kind of form um, a, a coral reef now, so there's lots of wildlife out there. The eastern there's shores, thousands of birds. Yeah, there's the eastern shore is really there. known for its birding and like the, the they just there's just so many uh, such a variety of birds out here so um, it's just it would be a really cool place to go out and we're kind of sad that um, we can't go out and do it but it's still beautiful to look at nonetheless from right here on the shore yeah they also have a swimming beach here they have hiking trails so it's a really beautiful park and I wish we had more time but in true Jed and Sandy fashion we didn't leave enough time we're going to work on slowing down and seeing more that is definitely one of our goals with this this has been kind of a little rush trip to just visit some family so um yeah but we still have one more thing coming up later tonight we hope in the hope in about 45 minutes actually so um let's hope that rocket launch happens okay so <laughs> i know we got we got miss sassy here i know around. she's <laughs> she super said we've sassy. been outside without her and she needs some lovin's but uh so no rocket launch tonight kind of disappointed but eh, it happens yeah you know you gotta launch them safely though so i mean i mean you just, don't you could just they, be like they could just launch it for us and be like boom look at that i know <laughs> no but um it's been a lot of fun just hanging out on the shore um just visiting some of the areas uh where jed's family is from and um, of course seeing his grandma has been absolutely amazing I still think that the Eastern Shore of Virginia is like one of the, what am I trying to say? He thinks it's the best place ever. No, I think it's one of Virginia's hidden gems that if you've never been over here, you absolutely should. There's good food, beautiful scenery. You should, and it's, we only were at the southern part of the peninsula. It goes all the way up to Maryland, so you have things like Chincoteague, Virginia over there, which is very popular and famous. But, um, do you should definitely just go check out the southern part as well because it's beautiful. But that's all right because now we're going to head to Nashville. Nashville, here we come. So we're going to go see a live concert, which, I mean, actually in a venue, which we haven't done since the pandemic started. So we're kind of excited about that. Yeah, and it's Nashville, so we'll explore a little bit to um, check out a few things. We've all, we're only going to be there for like a day, so we don't have a ton of time over there but we're definitely excited to get to Nashville. All right, guys, that's going to do it this for this video. And until next time, stay wonderful. Call it a day.